back again today, friends. I am, uh, this, these muffins have done it to me. They have me being an ap April, April, an April wearing mama, yeah. Apron wearing mama. You know, you see what happened is, I've been eating some of the pecans in the bag, pecans or pecans, right? And uh, does not have my professional speaking mouth <laughs> ready to form sentences. But here we are just jumping in anyway. So, you may remember the movie magic <laughs> of uh, Mega Muffins 1. This is the sequel, Mega Muffins 2. Dun, dun, dun. Anyway, what is in my lemonade this afternoon? We're making muffins. <laughs> School is done for the day. It's a rainy day. Kids are all over the house doing various things. But I am in this baby kitchen and we're gonna get going. So the very first thing that I'm gonna do, because I told kids, hey, guess what? I'm making these muffins first. I'm doing pizza muffins. Oh, yes, I am. Now, I have a recipe on the blog and actually I have a video that I've done over here before where you can do a homemade baking mix. Yes, you can. And you can also do the pizza muffins just with some store-bought quick and easy bacon, baking, not bacon, bacon mix would also be okay. But some quick and easy baking mix. There we go. Form the words, Jamarelle, you can do it. So jumping right in. Oh, and I've got mega muffins pulled up here on my laptop, so you're gonna see me looking. But uh, we got 12 cups of homemade baking mix or use store-bought. Five cups of pizza sauce. What else? Water, mozzarella cheese, and then the cute little mini pepperoni. So, we will get going with these. Hey friends, also wanted to remind you that my large family table community, the membership is finally open. The doors are open again, yay. I know so many of you have been waiting well over the past year to join. Now is your time for just a very short period of time. The doors will be open. So click the first link in the description below and basically get a never ending party with Jay Morrell. Ha ha. And yes, I'm halfway measuring this out just to be kind of sure, kind of sure, kind of sure. If you're new here, hey Jay Morrell, why are you cooking all this, all this food? Because I know sometimes when I do these bigger food videos, YouTube brings in all kinds of folks who may or may not need mega muffins, but we are a family of 11. We'll have 13, 14, 15 people here on our property at various times. Sorry, these are my dishes that are clean from another video I was filming actually just yesterday. We got a lot of food going down all day, every day. We also work from home full time and school from home full time. Uh, this is our 17th year of homeschooling, so we're not pandemic homeschoolers. We've been at this a while. <laughs> anyway, it's all about the food. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, and for a whole lot of people, that's just a whole lot of meals all day, every day. So I like whenever I can to do some mega muffins, and I will let the family eat the various muffins for a day or two, and then I freeze what's left. So yes, just like I predicted in that Mega Muffins video, I did a just a little over 16 dozen muffins, if I remember correctly, and we ended up having about eight dozen muffins to freeze. Well, you got a big family, you got a lot of people at your house. If you're trying to get ahead on the muffin game, eight dozen muffins at those don't last long. So. Anyway, doing more muffins today, and that will give us a variety for a little bit in the freezer, and then that way, so let's just say, okay, we got homeschool group coming up, or we've got a busy day of lessons or a field trip the night before, I can just set out two bags of muffins from the freezer into the refrigerator uh, in a jam. We could even defrost them quickly in the microwave the next morning. Muffins are great for breakfast. They're also great for lunch. They're super great things to have in your freezer. So there you go, my dissertation of muffins. Okay, so 12 there, and this is just all dump, dump it in. And if it's the homemade baking mix that I will link below for you as well, um, same story with the water and the sauce. So we have, okay, five cups of pizza sauce. I've got that worked out. Let me reach, can I reach? Can I get my hair in my bowl? 
Don't worry, I'm not selling these muffins. They, uh, they're going to my family. They won't mind a hair. Uh -huh. Three cups of water. Make sure you can see me now. My flower bag needs to sit down there, flower bag. Okay. Let's see. Cheese. You know you're in here, cheese. We are currently on a couple days of tacos here. We have not had tacos in about a month or so. And when I do something like tacos, we'll we'll do all the spin-offs of burritos and nachos and ends up being a couple day of kind of same but different meals. So anyway, I knew I had cheese in there. Okay, so it's about four cups of shredded cheese. We've done the math before. My handful of cheese is a cup of cheese around the world, right? But muffins like these pizza muffins, these are not. Go ahead, get it in the freezer. They absolutely. No way, no way, no how. Two five ounce packages, yes. Let's not put the little poison control oxygen absorber in the food. There we go. Actually have a third pouch over there. I think I was getting excited, but these have a longer shelf life. We'll use them in pizza muffins next time. Okay, let's get oxygen absorber. There you are. That would be like, not as nice as finding the Bailey finger soup, right? Okay, yes. Okay, these are bigger jars of pizza sauce. They will be okay. Can you share them? Showing it? Yes, I am. I need to get a TV monitor <laughs> so I can see. I can see uh, more than peering across my counter. Like, am I getting that in this clip? We'll get there. We'll get there one day. So you see with the pizza muffins that are going down behind me, uh, well, yeah, we have, I don't know, seven or so that are already gone. You see what happened is Travis was taking the kids to an afternoon activity. Everybody, I get, it was piping hot. I had to cut the pizza muffins in half and put it in a napkin. Everybody who went out the door got a pizza muffin to take with them because they can't wait. They're that good. So again, these aren't going in the freezer, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, but they're good. Yeah. And we have... I've got another dozen in the um, in the oven that just needed a few more minutes. So the other muffins that we're doing, we're doing almond poppy seed muffins, and then we're also doing double chocolate zucchini muffins. So good. I was also going to do carrot cake muffins, but I don't have any carrots. Isn't that sad? I think when I ordered this, I thought I had carrots, and then, of course, now I don't. And my zucchinis are looking pretty sad, but that doesn't matter. Uh, I also have a fourth muffin. I also have a fourth muffin that I'm going to share with you in this video, and it is applesauce muffins. I have a couple different variations. I filmed those on another day. So I filmed the applesauce muffins another day. As I mentioned, I have a couple variations of those. Those are coming up, and you'll see those in this video as well. Sad carrot cake muffins, but that'll that'll be for another mega muffin time, right? Okay, so I think we will do these poppy seed muffins now. So it's flour, baking soda, baking powder, salt, poppy seeds, butter, sugar, almond extract, eggs, sour cream, sliced almonds. That's what I did not bring in the eggs. Okay, let me go get those. Yes, I'm gonna sit, set it on my six, almost 60 year old countertops. That'll be okay. Okay. 
I'm just gonna leave these on because more muffins are coming. Oh, let me show you what these look like up close. Just see which ones I can grab. Okay, here we go. You see the mozzarella cheese sticking out? I'm looking at it in the camera, excuse me. We got our pepperonis within it. You can dip these in a marinara sauce. You can just, like my kids, just scarf them down like pizza muffins because because the name. <laughs> okay, how y'all like that? You see the kitchen from a different view? Mm -hmm. And another and another beverage in my hand. <laughs> okay, there we go. Lots of room everywhere, right? So, I think I'm gonna do these zucchini muffins first. Yes? I don't need butter in zucchini muffins. Okay. The butter that is in my face is for the almond muffins. So these bananas and these zucchinis that are glowing before me. Um, you just gotta wait. You guys wait your turn. So get out next to Super Mega Bowl. Alrighty, so this is for the almond poppy seed muffins. It'll be okay. Pizza muffins are cooling. I'm not taking the time to take, you know, if we were again, if we we're doing this right. I would have taken the muffins out and set them on the wire racks. I mean, I guess I could have done that at my table. Last time I did muffins, I had a lot of kids at the table doing things. So I guess I could have, but I didn't. This is a nice way to get them to cool quickly and stop cooking and all of that. But let's see the next flour. Okay. Okay. You count out loud. One. Two. stretch it just a little bit. All right, so I've got my keys <laughs> to get my baking soda as I've been filming all these muffins for you guys. The collection has been living on the counter. Let's see. Oh, ew. My teaspoon from yesterday did not get washed well. Pardon me for one moment. All right, so it's going to be two of each. Tablespoons. Get your two pigs ready, right? Okay, well, close it up. One, two, three, four. Now, we'll whisk these together. Oh, this is my smaller whisk. It feels different. <laughs> the things you notice. are going for this. Got my softened butter ready. Okay friends, also, I wonder why I got this other thing of butter ready. Is that what I need for the carrot cake? Hmm. Hmm. I have two extra cups of butter softened. And that is so sad. Well, butter, you can just harden. We'll just have a bowl of butter. <laughs> Look, kids, let me explain how to do this. Okay. It's okay. Things happen. And this one I don't need now. Pardon me while I put things back in the refrigerator. So, sugar. That is the next thing. And my sugar is off camera. So, I guess I'll dump it into here. I'm going to go on a little field trip. Okay, it's like going next door to the neighbor and borrowing a cup of sugar. So, yay. Okay. Here we go. So, I'm 
Alrighty, so now we're gonna do two cups of sour cream. This uh, Greek yogurt is just sitting out here waiting to fulfill its purpose of the zucchini muffins. So, it's excited. these soaking for mixed up double chocolate zucchini muffins. That sounds promising. Okay. Get all the four flour. That's, that's what you're meant to do. Okay. Oh, didn't, taking my pizza muffins out though would have given me my little pans. Pause. <laughs> Get all the four flour. That's, that's what you're meant to do. Okay. Oh, didn't, taking my pizza muffins out though, would have given me my little pans. Pause. <laughs> well now, my body, my drink and water is gonna have to move. Okay friends, I forget which towels are clean and which towels are dirty, so I just go through a lot of towels when I'm cooking. Also, don't forget, yay, Large Family Table Community Membership is open. You can click the first link in the description below for a limited time to join. I have not opened the special Large Family Table Community. Go to largefamilytablecommunity.com. Have not opened it since like July 2020. And here we are, November 2021 now. You are able to join. It's like an ongoing course and an ongoing online fun party time with me. So if you enjoy my videos, <laughs> if, if you, I'm looking at the sign, from what Zion said, he was little, I love you and I like you. If you love me and you like me, then you will really enjoy the Large Family Table community. What you get over there is you get special exclusive videos from me, so you get more. You get behind the scenes stuff. We have also a special community Facebook group for members only. You get an included brand new paid product each month. That's a $14.99 value. I bring in special Ninja Mom expert guests. 
I've had Ninja Mom experts teach about canning, teach about sourdough bread, teach uh, more styles of freezer cooking, how to make freezer meals and not heat up your kitchen in the summer. Chip has been in place since January 2020. Who knew what was coming up soon after that? So new members have access, that's the fun thing. If you join now, you have access to all the content that's been in there. Plus you get all the brand new content that's coming out every month as long as you are a member in the Large Family Table community. So each month I have a brand new module that comes out. We do scavenger hunts, we do live calls, again, special videos with me, expert videos, brand new products, special bonuses, a lot, super mega all the time. So right now, while membership is open, I'm not sure when the next time is I'm opening it. Go ahead and join now for extra fun with me over at largefamilytablecommunity.com. Okay, so now that we've got the dishes kind of started over again, we are going to do the double chocolate teeny muffins. Get that part started. Let's see, this is the towel I just dried everything off on. And this is the towel that I set everything on. So these are ready to use. This should still be good. This needs to go be with Jesus. These, and this probably, toss these out. Okay, so Benjamin's in here talking to me. You're waiting for mommy to get done, aren't you? We just shredded the zucchini. Yes? No? Okay. <laughs> anyway, the almond muffins. I mean, just yummy. I have to taste test these. Anyway, <laughs> let me talk and chew. So right now with the double chocolate zucchini muffins, I shredded the zucchini. Benjamin was in here talking to me, so yeah, I didn't film that part. Mommy. You guys shut the door? No, I mean, you ought to see this. What is it? I don't need that, thank you. I love you. Okay. He was handing me the hole puncher. <laughs> don't need the hole puncher right now, honey. Anyway, so next step needed with the double chocolate zucchini muffins is to put about three cups of oats in the blender. So, yay. And grind those up. Pop this I'm gonna show our pizza muffins and our almond muffins. Oh my goodness, those almond poppy seed muffins. There's a, uh, what's his name? What is that comedian's name? Come on brain, come on brain. Tim Hawkins. I was trying to say Tim Schmoyer. No, Tim is from YouTube, but Tim Hawkins. And uh, he's got this comedy routine and he's talking about the Krispy Kreme donuts and he says something about they're like eating a baby angel. That's what those <laughs> all the poppy seed muffins are. They're just, they're delightful in every possible way. So anyway, there's the zucchini that is shredded. Let me pull up my mega muffins here. All right, so I'm gonna dump in these oats that we ground up. Are you done, Mommy? I am not done, but I'm on my last one. <laughs> We're gonna hear Benjamin ask. 10 times. Is it candy land time? Are we doing it? Are we doing this, it? Well, when I'm done, I gotta finish these last muffins. Okay? I just wanna know. Uh, you just wanna know. Okay, Benjamin, we'll hurry. We're on it. Okay. Okay, so. Two eyeballing cups of flour. Okay, and then we're gonna do half a cup of cocoa powder. Get my phone out of the danger zone. There's my other measuring cup. Are we staying up late watching mommy do the laundry in my laundry business? No. I told that story in the last video. Okay, but are we gonna play Candyland? Are we? Did mommy say we're playing Candyland? Yes. Does that mean we're gonna play it? Yes. Are you so excited? Yes. Are you gonna win? There's no win. There's no winning. It's, it's never ending. It's a never ending game. Those are my favorite. Okay. Mm. 
Wow, that sounds like fun. I'm excited. What color guy are you going to be? Blue. You're going to be blue this time? Yeah. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to be candy and I'm going to be blue. Okay, sounds good. What color should I be? Um, red, but not the weird ones with the bow ties. Not the weird ones with the bow ties? Okay. Yeah, but the other ones do have bow ties. Are all bow ties weird or just those bow ties? They have yes. changed the way that the guys look in Candyland, depending on when you've gotten it. Okay. We're talking yes. about the ones Seven. that have the standards, but all that are big. Okay. Those are weird. Okay, yeah, those are your favorite? Yeah. And they're not. All right, so just rinsed out my blender. We're going to use it again. All righty, so we're putting the zucchini in the blender. I might actually have my little bit of room here to put it down this way. four cups of zucchini. I got a little extra here, but I can freeze this for future baking. All right, so we're going to do a solid eyeballing of a cup and a half of Greek yogurt. Pretty close there. Will live out the rest of its destiny in upcoming smoothies. Benjamin heard heard the key word smoothie, and he's like, "Okay, well, maybe I will try a zucchini smoothie." <laughs> so, no, I said we'd be using the yogurt in some upcoming smoothies, but not zucchini smoothies. Okay, I am eyeballing, totally eyeballing here. Four tablespoons of honey. All right, now we're going to turn the blender on. Do not accidentally turn on without the lid on. What could go wrong? Grab all of my accessories. Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> look at looking at my own mega muffin pack. I need to add in the vanilla and the sugar and the eggs here. So pardon me, get back on there. Let's put a few more things in here. Just going to eyeball in school tonight. There we go. Looks vanilla y to me. All right, here we go. My whisk is on the floor, but it's been on there for a little bit, so we have to have some rolls, huh? Now 
we've made pretty good work of this big bag of Costco chocolate chips. Tis the season holidays are coming. So, good, good. Gonna get this in and get the next batch in the cup. I know lots of people have asked when they've heard about all these muffins. I was on an interview yesterday and they were like, just we're just talking about projects going on and what's happening. And I was talking about making all these muffins. They're like, well, how many ovens do you have? And of course, we all know I only have my little baby like camp size so of it. Uh, however, muffins don't take that long. So, I mean, we're talking 12 to 17 minutes, just about any of these muffins are. And in the meantime, like when I get these first two in, then I'll get my next two pans full and then I'll be able to do just a little bit of cleanup and swallow my spit for a second and it'll be time to switch those pans out and put the next two in. So even in my baby kitchen, we are able to do this just fine. Okay. Sit here, cup. Be right back. Alrighty, I just pulled this first dozen out and you can see chocolate oozing, ooey gooey, super yummy. You know I have a Candyland date and I need to feed my baby and I have a live call in 45 minutes so mama better hustle. But here we go, let me show you making applesauce muffins the day before yesterday, yay. Alrighty, friends. Well, of course, I'm trying to film, and of course, my dryer is trying. Hey, Gabriel, come shut that door for me, honey. I can't get a grip on it. I just put lotion on my hands, so my 12-year-old will save me. Thank you. Anyway, it's uh, it's afternoon now. It's about 4. We were finishing up a few last-minute school things, and I am getting this edition of Mega Muffins going. Uh, we're going to do four dozen. I'm gonna look at my list and let you know what kind of dozen, what, what kind of dozen, what kind of muffins are doing. But uh, really, it needs to be coffee o'clock. I had one little cup this morning, and uh, I say I can have an afternoon cup of coffee. So, I'm gonna get that going. I think I've been working through the entire Mega Muffins pack. And of course, I usually put, uh, this is from the Trim Healthy Mama Ladies. It's some um, collagen. There's no flavor to it. It's, uh, you can put it in soups, hot drinks, smoothies. It's a good source of protein. It's a natural energy booster, and it's good for joint health. Lots of good information on adding collagen to things in general. Of course, you can Google it, but the THM ladies have a lot of good info on it. And so I usually add a tablespoon to my coffee or smoothies. Um, I haven't really added it to soups. So I guess I could, but just letting you know, that's how I'm doing my coffee. So, while the coffee brews and before the muffins get going, boy, it's getting cold outside. Anyway, happy fall. Um, I'm going to work on my November calendar here for a few minutes as well, because it's, it's October 26th when I'm filming this, and uh, I got November stuff piling up. I don't know about you, so yeah. Oh, and I need to hit my coffee button again.
So we are doing the applesauce muffins in the Mega Muffin Pack. So again, I could have taken time to get all this ready before I started filming, but that's no fun. I've had so many muffin projects going on, I've just left everything out on my counter here. So we've been living life around mom's muffin messes. 16 cups of flour. We're gonna mix our dry ingredients first, random pacifier. So, scary thing, this is my one and a half cup measuring cup. I'm gonna use just a little bit of over 10, about 10 and a half of, of this one to uh, equal our 16 cups. Don't, don't lose me now, right? Okay. I got a whole other bag of flour. asked me in one of my recent grocery haul videos why I only bought two these are 12 pound bags of flour oh anyway instead of bigger bags or bigger bags for storage I buy things specifically for certain videos at different times not always but I knew I had this mega muffin project I was going to cook through all the muffins in the pack and so I bought what was needed to cook those muffins to give viewers an idea of what kind of groceries were required. So for this one, oh my goodness, was that the fourth cup? Hmm. You know, because you're watching this back, but I'm living it right now. Anyway, uh, with the math, excuse me while I scratch my back, um, I figured I needed both of these bags. And I was also doing the math on what was available at Costco. So I did not need a 50 pound bag to do the mega muffins. I think I needed a little under these two 12 pound bags. Well, let's see. I've cooked, I filmed doing the 16 dozen muffins for YouTube, and that was four recipes. And now I'm going to do uh, six more. Is that 24 more dozen? Hold on, I don't have enough coffee right now. I have six more times four, 24 plus eight. That's only 32. My math is off somewhere. They each make at least four dozen each. I have only done four recipes so far. Okay, six recipes are left. Each recipe makes four, so that would be times four, and that's 24. Oh, I'm not, okay. But I've already, that's 24 dozen plus 16, and then we get to 40. Takes me a minute, sometimes it takes me an extra minute. That's okay, don't stop to be perfect, right? We just keep moving, yeehaw. Now I got it, so I've got 40 dozen muffins total, and I needed these two bags of flour for them. Uh, and I was trying to show, hold on here, stick with me, I was trying to show roughly the amount of flour that would be needed to make the 40 dozen muffins and I didn't want to scare people to get a 50 pound bag of flour and I am so I am so off my counting now okay I'm gonna say this is six these come out a little bit wonky you know I got to chat seven eight there's the walnuts no those are almonds nine should have walnut, walnuts over there. Ten. And my extra little bit that I think I need, and now I'm not sure. So don't worry, your applesauce muffins will look so much better. Okay, so we have this. Now, something I could do is get the oven preheated. Need it when I got something ready to go, and then I forget to turn the oven on. Teaspoons of baking soda.
Travis took a bunch of the kids to pick up a teenager who was working. Liam stayed home. You've been doing other things? Mm -hmm. Good deal. Catch chicken. You caught a chicken? Cool. Chicken. Chickens, plural, awesome. It's one chicken, mm -hmm. it went nuts. It, it was like crazy. Crazy chicken, was she like a kung fu chicken? Was she trying to lay an egg? No, she, okay. no, she, she was working. And that chicken is, it's like, she had like 12 nightmares of people eating her. It, oh she, yeah, she, she was that, like, she was upset. Yeah, she was crazy scared. When I caught her, she 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 was barking like fuck, fuck, like she was mm -hmm. done. So she was yeah. done. Mm -hmm. Liam is making a cowboy outfit. He wants to sew his own chaps. So that fabric has come in, and that's a whole other project. Alrighty, so I'm going to soften eight sticks of butter. Don't be scared. I'm just going to put these in the microwave for a little bit. small little Walmart bags. I only, I don't use sugar in a, like our daily family cooking. I use a lot of monk fruit. I have not tested out switching out sugar with monk fruit for a lot of these recipes or using anything other than all-purpose flour. With these in particular, you certainly can let me know how it goes, but you know, for certain baking you use sugar. So, that's why I only have this little bag on hand for right now. Now, if you get real professional and serious in the baking, uh, there's a difference between wet and dry measuring cups, okay? And I'm technically pouring this four cups of sugar into this bowl with a liquid measuring, measuring uh, container here. But that's okay, because it's my real life mama kitchen. I won't tell if you don't. I have a hard enough time keeping everything straight, so <laughs> muffins will be fine. No muffins will be hurt in this process. Yeah, that's a little better. So now we're going to mix together this butter and this sugar. You see me now? Okay, I'm not totally headless, Jane Morrell. That that's that's always a good way. Good good way to start a video. Good way to continue a video when I uh, actually have a head. Mm -hmm. Yay, coffee. Alrighty, friends. So we're gonna beat this uh, butter and sugar together for a couple minutes, and then I'm gonna. I need an egg run now. So hold on while I call a kid. Hey, Naomi. <laughs> I do have to say that this butter and sugar smells fantastic. I was like, what am I even saying? It smells fantastic, tastes fantastic. Okay. Now we're gonna mix in our eggs. Vanilla. Okay, one of these is supposed to be 
five and three quarter cups. Give me wrong applesauce. things now. Okay. Please be room, please be room, please be room. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go see if I can find the walnuts. I think they're up in my little cabinet above the stove there. If I can find the walnuts, we, this is the time to fold them in. If not, I think I'll just crush up some pecans and throw them in. It'll be okay. By the way, let me go. Let me go have a look. I'm gonna try to stop stirring this now. Can I stop? Okay. <laughs> okay. I, I, ha I had a snack break myself and found the walnuts so we're doing well so this is this is six cups every little walnut counts now I'm gonna eat this one <laughs> Watch camera, I'll eat various things. The walnuts were already chopped, so it's just another little mama, st mama saved step. And dinner smells really good. I've got pepper steak in the slow cooker. And per my usual, I need to get some rice in the Instant Pot to go along with it. Or I can just do rice on the stove, but we're gonna do pretty much rice bowls, but with the pepper steak on top. And then I get lots of questions, even more so lately, about uh, my kids eating what I make. Now some of my younger kiddos might just do a rice bowl with some butter and we have some leftover broccoli and maybe they'll sprinkle a little cheese on it. Um, they're not gonna be super interested in the pepper, part of the pepper steak, but, and they may pick out some pieces of meat too. I just, I don't push anything and make it a pressure. I mean, I've obviously made the main meal, uh, but many of you know, hey, let me just answer this question in the middle of these muffins. Um, what I do is I usually have lots of options on the table. Just about every night we put a bowl of salad out or salad components to do your own. Uh, usually some sort of steamed be vegetable, some sort of main dish. Um, sometimes we might put some applesauce out. Sometimes we might put some clementines or apples out. I do that even more so like at lunch. Like yesterday, we did toasted tuna salad sandwiches and just put two bags of fruit on the table as well. So anyway, I usually have enough choices that if the four-year-old doesn't want to have a bunch of green peppers that have been in the slow cooker with a bunch of steak strips, if that's not good to him, there's plenty of other things that are going to be sitting out that he can make some choices about. And that, that's how the mafia works around here, haha. -ha. Now I had my nice little muffin dipping cup the other day. This one's too big. I have a smaller one. Hmm. Six-year-old is learning how to put dishes away. And so with that, I have, this is my jumbo muffin, muffin cup, so I'm just gonna get a little scoop in there. Try not to go jammer all crazy overboard, right? He's always learning how to put dishes away. So all my tongs are missing. It's so sad. I have this nice long pair of silver tongs that one of you sent me, and then I have two other tongs that uh, kind of have like some claws at the end that I got at the restaurant supply store a few years ago with Ashley. And I have 
my smaller like regular muffin cup scooper. Um, I got these at Bed Bath & Beyond by the way. Anyway, just he's doing a super job and maybe it's not him. I just have this mystery like, hey, has anybody seen my tongs? <laughs> by the way, so we're working that out. Thank you friends for making these mega muffins with me again today. If you enjoyed these mega muffins and would like even more behind the scenes and extra bonus videos, fun new products, games, live calls, special guests, and so much more, click the first link in the description below and join the Large Family Table community right now while the doors are open for the only time in 2021. That's largefamilytablecommunity.com. Yay! Thank you.